Good morning. Today is Thursday, May 11th. Our names are Melanie and Rachel, and this is Fire Today. Today. Today's schedule is 513. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and now for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Citizenship Pride meeting next Tuesday. Good luck to all students on the upcoming Florida Standards Assessment and the end of course exams. Remember, first block will be extended half an hour for the next week to accommodate testing times, and middle block will be half an hour shorter. Please make an effort to attend school every day and arrive on time. Go Panthers! Please remember that team shirts and club shirts should only be worn on Fridays. Students, please, please remember to order and buy your school sweater in the PTA store. Attention all 8th graders, make your final year planner memorable and do not miss out on spectacular upcoming activities. We have Grab Venture, the New Year's Graduation Party, and Field Day. Qualifications to participate in these activities are no days of in conduct and academics, no threes and efforts, and no suspensions. Thank you, Ms. Martinez and the 8th grade team. Golf practice, golf practice Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. FDA awards are tomorrow from 7 o'clock to 11 at Obsession Ballrooms. 8th graders, remember Grab Venture is May 19th. Children Camp May 15 from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Highly High Just for Hill Sophia Trip is May 23rd. Dance pictures are on May 17th. Remember to come with your makeup and hair done. End of the year show is May 24th at Highly High at 6 30. Last day of paper prom is May 18th. Congratulations to the golf team for an excellent showing on their first competition in South County Finals. Prom is May 26th at Mylander from 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Good luck to all 8th graders and 7th graders. To the EOC, whether it's Algebra 1 or Civics. And now to sports. The injury ravaged Marlins are in such a bad a trip that offers of kindness wouldn't be refused. Now we're forthcoming from the Cardinals, who showed no sympathy by handing the wounded Marlins a 7 5 defeat once it's to complete a sweep of three game series. And now to weather. Today's weather will be a high of 87 degrees with a 10% chance of rain and it's going to be mostly sunny. And now to lunch. Today's lunch is roasted chicken, baked lasagna. Grilled cheese, roasted turkey with gravy, fresh fruit, pineapple cup, salad, mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, wheat biscuit, and your regular juice and milk. And now to joke of the day. A man who just died stood at the gates to heaven and was told by St. Peter that before you meet with God, I should tell you, we've looked over your life and to be honest, we didn't do any, we didn't find anything particularly good or bad. Can you tell us anything that you did that helps us make our decision? The newly arrived soul replied. Yeah, once I was driving along and came upon a person who was being harassed by a group of thugs. So I pulled over, got out of bat, and went up to the leader of the thugs. He was, he was a big muscular guy with a ring pierced through his lip. Well, I tore the ring out of his lip and told him if he, if him and his gang had, had better stop bothering the guy or they would have had to deal with me. Well, it's impressive. When did this happen? About three minutes ago, he replied. And now to the same history. On this day in history, Minnesota enters the Union as the 32nd state on May 11, 1858. Known as the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesota is northern end of Mississippi's River in traffic and the westernmost point in the inland of the inland waterway that extends through the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Seaway to the Atlantic Ocean. The Ojibwe and the Dakota were among the native people who were the first made this land their home. And the white settle settlement of the area began in 1820 with the establishment of Fort Snelling. In 1849, Minnesota became a U.S. territory. And now to the expectations. Students, please remember the school-wide behavioral expectations. Resourceful, ready, responsible, respectful, and healthy. Thank you. This has been Fighter Today.